Well, hello, hello, hello. Apparently, I did not get enough of this, the October card spell binders card kit. Oh, what fun. And I had a bunch I'd set aside of cards. I had ideas from when I was in Oceanside. So I'm like, you know what? I'm home now. Let's get cracking with this stuff. So I'm going to do several cards. We'll see, you know, how long this video ends up being. But this is the first of several that I had ideas on. And, you know, what I love about... Um, Anything with spell miners or anything is I like to hybridize and I take an idea, I see something on Pinterest and I go, oh, look how cute. And then I do my own thing, which in this case is, is bringing in the, um, using my winter's, um, which one is this one? Winter's Sparkle from Crafter's Companion because it has that really pretty, um, snowflakes. There we go. My goodness. I know how to speak English. Really, I do. So without further ado, let's get cracking with making this card and let's see if we cannot take three hours to make a card. All right, so I already have a set aside my card and my envelope because the kit comes with 10 of them, so why not use them? This I plan on using as my background paper to the back. Now, and mind you, this one I am stealing it from the sample, but they did it all the way edge to edge. I, I don't like to. I like to at least leave a little tiny sliver of edge, so we're going to cut that paper down just a smidgen. So you see a little bit of white edge because it's my card and I get to do what I want with it. <laughs> All right. Okay, so instead of being four and a quarter, I'm going to take it down to four. So I'm going to have an eighth of an inch, literally. And then I have a piece of a little strip of paper that I can use somewhere else in some other card. So again, four and a quarter by five and a half will then be four and a quarter by five, excuse me, four by five and a quarter. So that I can go ahead and now I have that little border that I like to have around the card just because. Now let's go ahead and let's grab Big Mama who is right behind me and we're going to go ahead and adhere that part down. Now I and I refound my little template corner so that I could put them in my Misty so that I can and you know what I wonder if I can make it work. I was gonna say so that I can you know center it perfectly the problem is that the one eighth, which is the one I need for here, I broke it. Pulling it out of the drawer where I had it because, you know, I'm special. I'm, you know, a special dingleberry. But you know what? Let me reach for my Misty. Hang on. It is handy. And let's see what happens if I try to use it anyway, right? What have I got to lose? Nothing. So let's pull all the 75 magnets I have in here. I don't know why that blue tape is right there, but I don't see a reason, so... Whoops, and there we go. One decided to stick. Let me open my drawer here because see, this is what happened. I it, I broke it, but I'm wondering if I can still. Let me, where's the other little piece? It's right here. I think it'll still work. There's no reason why it can't work because that's my one inch measurement. So we're going to stick our, actually, hello. Let's do this correctly. You know, I think we need to put it on top of the card. Duh. You know, I'm, I'm telling you, didn't I not say I'm my own kind of special? Okay, so we have that all cornered in. I'm going to, the card is, I'm looking for the card. The card is in there. Hello, Nimrod. <sighs> okay. So let's just edge it in. And there you go. It works just fine. Wow, yay. We'll take a little chopsticks and we'll put it back in the drawer now. Um, so that was, that went fast and that was very successful. I'm going to leave my Misty handy here because I'm going to need it in a few minutes anyway. So now I have my base. Now I have, I decided that my background paper for this card was going to be blue. So I want to make it smaller than this and, uh, you know, maybe about a half an inch smaller. So I already know that this piece is five and a quarter. So it's already four inches. So if I take, uh, and I'm going to take a half, my gosh, I would make a three. So that's going to make it pretty small, but that's okay. We're going to go with my original plan because it makes the math easy. So we're going to go three and okay. So we know that I am now, I'm five and a quarter. So I want to take an inch off of five and a quarter. This is going to make it four and a quarter. And that is as good a math as you're going to get out of me peeps right now. So now I have that piece of paper. Let me roll and find my mister, which is right here, because I haven't totally unpacked the crafting cart from when I was at my sister's last week taking care of my mother. So and I'm gonna, this bothers me. I don't know why. Now I'm probably going to regret having done that, but it's staying right now. So see, now that fits, and I have a nice little border. You guys can see all the trees all around. 
So now I am ready to emboss this puppy. And I'm wondering, we're going to take a test. We're going to, let me, you know what? Let's take a test run without the paper. Because rumor has it you do not run a 3D through the marquee. And rumor is correct. So give me a second and let me go pull my, um, my, sp my platinum six. Hold on. Okay, I am back and I took a quick look so that I knew I had the correct sandwich to make to use a 3D die because this is a 3D die. Excuse me, die. Listen to me. A 3D embossing folder. So I'm going to take real quick and I'm going to do it off. You won't see it, but I'm spritzing my piece of paper and then I'm going to place it and I'm going to go in the upper corner just because since it's such a small piece, I don't necessarily want that big P, the big um, snowflake to dominate. So I am going to place it so that I get the majority of the little guys. So I'm going to place it right there. Okay. And then I'm going to run it through my platinum, which is between, I mean, this and the, um, right now and my marquee are the go-to, which it, uh, the irony, because I got my, um, electric machines just so that I could save myself cranky. And here I am cranking to my little heart's content, right? You know, never say that there's an irony in my life. All righty, and I'm going backwards because if forward is good, backward is better because I'm a kook. All right, so let's just grab that. Let's pull it out real quick before I do anything. And hello, there we go. Oh my God, look at that. <gasps> yes. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Absolutely what I wanted, what I dreamed of. Oh, but no, wait, there's more. Because you know I am wholly incapable of leaving out any well enough alone. I am going to go in here and I'm going to find, okay, I'm not going to go in there and find it. It's going to be over here because, again, remember I said I hadn't unpacked. Uh, there it is. Whipped cream. I'm going to go in here and grab a dauber for where I keep them so that Elvis can't steal them. Actually, Elvis hardly comes into this room anymore. You know, he has new digs, you know, new adventures. Okay. So I'm going to go, let's hope this doesn't backfire on me, but well, it's already backfired on me because it's not staying on my dauber, but I'm going to pick up some white here and I'm going to gently go over the snowflakes just to make them white. I'm not even sure how much of this is going to show up, but enough of it will show up behind what I am going to put over the little, it's just a little tiny, tiny ephemera piece, but I like that idea, but I wanted to add some more visual interest. So, you know, I kind of scrap lifted, but I also added my own spin because we all do that. What the heck? Why? Otherwise Pinterest would not exist. I mean, everybody goes and gets in, you know, take somebody, you know, somebody, well, I, I don't know about everybody, but I hear, you know, say, oh, I got this idea, you know, and, and I, I know that we as mere mortals, I am not comparing myself to some of the big guns that are amazingly talented and know what they're doing. Now, remember, I'm just a mad scrapper. I have no clue what I'm doing, but I'm having fun doing it, not having a clue. So there you go. But see now, hopefully you can see that it's subtle. It's really subtle, but I added white to those snowflakes just because I wanted to. So there we go. That took a couple of minutes. So we'll set that aside. And I'm not going to worry about my car because Lord knows it's white. So we'll just go. So we're ready to now I can adhere that to my background, my little, my little blue paper. So we're now going to grab Big Mama, who is now not behind me. She's now next to me. Although she's not standing up how I usually have her. Oh, my gosh. Now, here's the thing. Because my ink is still wet, I am leaving literally imprints on my glass. Can you guys see that? I am leaving ink imprints, so I think as soon as I stick this down, I'm going to go and dry it. I'm going to go grab my um, Tim Holtz, and I'm going to dry this ink up a bit, because that's the one thing about, um, I, this is the, true also of the FSJ hybrids, as well as the um, Distress Oxides, is they stay wet a while. So I didn't remember that, because I'm a dork. So here we are. We're already at this point. Give me a second. I'm going to dry this up and I'm going to wipe the ink off my desk. I'll be right back.
Alrighty then, it is now dried off with my little handy dandy Tim Holtz dryer. Um, I went ahead off camera. This is the little piece. I mean, literally, this is the entirety of the evil plan of putting it on there because look, it's just so delicate, so pretty, and sometimes simple is better. So that is the entirety of the embellishing. And where is the tweezers? I just pulled them out. My, I am missing my favorite tweezers for doing this. I have a feeling that, because I'm like, how could I lose them? They're my favorites. And I think I stuck them in the bag with my um, diamond dots for Santa because I used it to, I use it to move around the diamond dots. So I suspect that's where it is in my little, you guys remember the Laurel Birch um, bag I got? That's where I have all the gems for Santa. So I'm a bet money I'm gonna find my tweezers in there, but I don't wanna look for it now. <laughs> Cause I'm lazy! Okay, there we go. I mean, oh my gosh, <sighs> dramatic. Just, you know, dramatic here. My hand, my hand is at my forehead. Oh, the suffering. But it does need a little bit more because you know me, you know, it, more is better. You know, I, I, even though I went, you know, I try to not as, you know, always go that route, but okay. We're just going to grab these and where is, I had to, um, they're all I have a pile of tools right now because I wanted to pull something out of my little cup. It was stuck and I'm like, what the heck? So I don't know how some glue got down there, but I am just going to go and, excuse me, put a smattering of these lovely little, um, sequins just because I can because I want to be, and, oh look, and it was, I was about to say, oh my gosh, I watch this, unplugged. but no, it isn't, if you see, I want to make me a liar. There we go, so look, right there, and I think a little tiny, um, as kind of a guide, I can barely tell that there's little tiny, so there's one you can go, as little guides, as weird as little things, and you can start to the I have just noticed I want to do more of the smaller ones, the bigger ones, just because we are there. Always win. And I'm gonna put one right there, just because. There we go. So, cause you always use odd numbers. Why, I don't know, but you just do. I'm sure there's some unwritten scrapbooking rule anywhere. But I mean, there you go. But I, you know, I would call it done, but actually we should put, go ahead and put a sentiment in. So I'm gonna close my bag. I will pick these eyes up in a few minutes. I will put the lid back onto this because, oh my gosh, whatever, my gosh, it's on my, um, here too. So but I don't know what spilled in there. It looks like glue. So not a problem. I'll clean that up, but let's grab Misty, which now, where did I put the Misty? It's very, where did I really, where did I put it? Ah! Oh, here it is. It's just hiding under a paper towel. Sneaky. So we're going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment while we're at it in here. While the sequence, well, while our thingy falls off. This stuff only happens to me. I probably didn't press down on it enough. And mind you, this is a, this surface is you know with all the bumpies. That was that was hilarious. So now we're gonna put do this again. Is it centered? It's centered. Now we're going to press hard, okay, so that it doesn't fall off, right? Okay, so now I'm not gonna fall off. See, you guys, this does not happen on camera to Christina Warner. I'm just saying, this happens to me. Why? Because I'm not Christina Warner. Because I'm a dingleberry. And But there you go. It's, it is what it is. It's those moments. It's what, you know, you guys don't come for the crafting. You come for the comedy. Confess. Just to see where I'm going to mux up next. Okay, so I went ahead and I want to use a You Are Magical. Hope your Christmas is too. So, and let me just really quickly rub my fingers over. I don't have to do too much because, you know, yes, they're smelly. Um, Spellbinders stamps are photopolymer. So they, they don't chintz out on us. Okay, guys, they give us the good stamps. And I, you know, one of the things I meant to mention, I don't think that the um, kits are also going to come with stamps with, for the new, I remember I was talking about in a video recently, um, the new kit clubs are not coming with the dies anymore. I think they will also not come with stamps. Because, especially if you're doing the, um, they're just going to make it pure embellishments. So, I, I don't know if that's just to simplify things. I don't know if that's inflation catching up with them. Let's be honest here. I mean, everything is going, is more expensive. So, I got to look at this so that I can see it looks pretty centered. Okay. It, it just is. I mean, everything we were just talking about, it's like, oh my gosh. It's like, 
I'm gonna have to go on a, you know, it, it'd be great for weight loss right now, man. I'm just gonna eat less because it's too expensive to eat. <laughs> So it's great for the, you know, not my diet, but just for the fact that, you know, with my surgery, I can only eat less. I mean, it's hilarious. I mean, well, here, let me give you an example. For it has not had it, I'll show you. Don't be, you know, go. This was lunch today. And I mean, that was a bit, I mean, I can only eat this much in this bowl. So, and it wasn't all the way full. It was like maybe three quarters full. And that was a tomato bisque. So I can only eat in little bits. Now the, uh, the upside is also, you know, the downside, I'm not sure, but is that I eat like every three hours at the most, you know, and if I, and I try not to let myself go hungry because if I do, I forget to eat slow and eating fast is the enemy because then I overfill and then I feel sick to my stomach. I get, I feel nauseous. So I have to eat slow so that my stomach catches up or my brain catches up with my stomach. Oh my gosh, that is really, that turned out really well. I'm just trying not to, I don't want to ink up, but look at that. I think that is perfect. I left enough space for me to sign it. Let me grab the bleachy wipe and I will clean up my stamp real quick. But I mean, that's a card. That is our card. Although we should, I should always stamp, should always stamp the back of our cards, you know, so that we sign them. And let's see, can I find, oh, there we go. I'm going to use my funny bones card on my stamp on this one just because I want to. So I'll have to give it to the right person who will understand that because we just made it very, 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 you know, kind of, I think, sentimental, you know, because we put in there, you are magical, hope your Christmas is too. So, but I'm going to go ahead because I think this one's hilarious. It's one I just got recently. You saw it in the hall. Can make cards because no one displays an email on the mantle. When I saw that, oh my gosh, I had to have it. Okay, and we are, I don't even know if we need the rub up red rubber, but we're going to go ahead and rub up this red rubber, and then we're going to struggle with getting this piece off, the piece of paper. There we go, the protective. There we go. That wasn't too bad, and mind you, we have to remember, I don't, on red rubber, I don't need a mat on my Misty. So we'll just put the magnet down. We're going to lean it on. My poor gnomes, no, we're coming up. I remember, don't, on my Misty, for whatever reason, I cannot stamp on the edge. So we're just going to line it up a half an inch yet so that we're not on the edge so that I can go to the bottom of the paper. But I'm just going to center that up. It shouldn't mean that this is not rocket science. I think that's pretty good. Okay. There we go. Plump. And we're going to end it. Does it look straight? Yeah, it looks good. So now we're going to grab the Versafine. And we're going to ink that up. Ta-da! Well, not ta-da yet, because right now, and I have, I'm not sure where Big Daddy is. I think I, I just have to turn around. I need to empty out my portable craft box. Oh my gosh, there we go. Not bad, not bad at all. And that's with my fingers, so let me just go a little bit over it. And I'm not doing it a second time. I'm calling this good. I love that. It's perfect. And there you go. Here's a quickie card. I have no idea how long this took me, but it was pretty quick. Pulled it off. I love it. So give me a second. We'll come back. We're going to at least do a couple of cards on this video. So let's go for number two.